Good morning, welcome. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, each week I get the opportunity to share the stage with these wonderful musicians and bring you some of the greatest music ever created. Um, but I wanted to share with you before we start the concert uh, an experience that I had that didn't happen on the stage, but I think that it speaks a little bit to the mission that the DSO has in our community. Uh, last fall, the DSO facilitated a meet and greet for me, a meeting with me and a very special patient at Children's Hospital. And all I was told was that this particular high school student was a big fan of the clarinet, she was a clarinetist herself, <clears throat> and that she was undergoing some pretty awful treatments. So they asked if I'd be willing to come and meet with her. And um, of course, I was happy to do it, but I was a little bit apprehensive. I didn't quite know what to expect. So I made my way to the hospital. I had sort of an armful of music and my clarinet thinking I knew exactly what I was gonna play for her and everything was gonna be good. And as I'm sitting in, in the room, I started to get a little bit nervous. They wheel her in the room and her smile just lit up the room. She was so excited to see the instrument in my hand. I don't think she cared who I was, but she was so excited about the clarinet. Um, and right away, it was like we were best friends. It was like two best friends from high school band camp getting together and geeking out about the clarinet. You know, we talked about the instrument, we talked about music, we talked about competitions, we talked about auditions. And then finally it came time for me to actually sit down and play something for her. <laughs> and so, of course, because I'm a classically trained musician, I pull out my Brahms clarinet sonata, play a little bit for her, and I look up at her, and she is clearly not impressed. <laughs> And so I switched to a little bit of Mozart concerto, thinking maybe that would do the trick. And she was just sort of like, meh, meh. But when I pulled out Rhapsody in Blue, I think she really lit up, and she got really excited about that. Then she started requesting songs from me, songs from her church, songs from her high school band class, and she would sing them for me, and I would try playing them back to her, and we had a good time trying to do that. Eventually, at the end of the afternoon, uh, we had everybody in the, in the hospital room, the nurses, her family, she and I were singing along and playing along a uh, couple verses of Lean On Me, which was one of her favorite songs. So it was a very special afternoon for me, and I'm just hoping that the music that we shared together brought her some joy during a time that I think was very difficult for her and her family. So the reason I'm sharing this with you is because November is Community Support Month, and it's a time that the DSO <clears throat> celebrates our deep commitment to our community. And uh, although we're here enjoying a beautiful concert tonight in this beautiful space, there are so many people in our community that are not able to join us here. And myself and many of my colleagues on stage um, throughout the season will go out and visit local churches, hospitals, senior homes, schools, uh, to try to reach people where they are and bring them music. And this kind of work is only possible through the generous donations that many of you have already made to our annual fund. Um, and I'm just here to ask those of you, to thank those of you who have, and to ask those of you who may not have yet, to consider giving a gift. There are tables in the atrium this afternoon, and hopefully you can stop by during intermission or after the concert and find out some more information and support our mission of serving our community through music. So thank you so much and enjoy the concert. 